Hi there, this is Viano back with another D3 tutorial. Uh, in this video I want to show you how to create a tree layout in D3, uh, such as the one that we're looking at right here. Um, the tree layout has an, a hierarchical structure, as you can see. It starts with uh, the root node right here, uh, which I called Max. and uh, Max has two children nodes and each of those children have children uh, themselves. So if we take a look at the data uh, behind this, you can see that it has a clear hier hierarchical structure as well. Um, so yeah, I guess you understand what, what this all means. Um, so the tree layout um, is perfect for these kinds for for this kind of data uh, where you have you want to display hierarchical relationships as opposed to flat relationships if you will that we used in our pi layout for instance so if we uh, take a closer look at what's going on here d3 wise we can see that we actually have three different um, aspects to this uh, visualization. We have the labels here uh, which is uh, which are just basic text um, text uh, objects. We have the uh, the circles right here and we have uh, these lines connecting the dots. And the lines perhaps is the most interesting uh, part of this um, layout. These are actually paths that we took a look at uh, previously. And you can see that they're not just straight lines uh, connecting the dots. They're curved in this nice way. Uh, and I don't, I don't know the math behind this, but the nice part is that we don't actually have to know the math. Uh, D3 provides us with a path generator, uh, which is called the diagonal. diagonal um, which um, calculates the distance between uh, the nodes and returns a path with this nice curve. So I thought I'd show you how to create this um, diagonal curve in this first part and in the second part we'll uh, create this whole tree layout. So if we begin, oops, I shouldn't have showed you that, but that's that's what we're striving to do in this video so if we head back over to our main uh, document right here just as the arc path generator that we uh, took a look at uh, earlier the diagonal is used well it's used in the same way so if we start by creating a variable here and then the way we create the diagonal path generator is really simple. It's just d3.svg.diagonal. And uh, okay, so we have our we have our path here, but we need to append it to the document just as the uh, the arc path generator. So the way we do that is just as we did before. We append the path. And let's just give it some basic attributes. We'll give it a fill of none. And we'll give it a stroke. You can just say black here. And then the path data is gen generated from uh, the path generator. So we call that diagonal. So we'll just uh, write diagonal here as the second argument. Uh, but what's special about the diagonal path generator is that it, it expects um, we need to provide it with some data right and the way we do that is the path generator expects two objects the source object and the target object and the source object describes the starting point of our path and uh, the target um, describes the ending point of our path and um, you would normally uh, provide this provide this data with well with data, so you wouldn't have to manually um, 
write out the coordinates of, of the path but since this uh, for the purpose of this tutorial we'll just provide the path generator with the data ourselves so the way we do that is we use uh, two accessor functions which are the source accessor function and the target accessor function and we'll just write uh, source and target and like I said uh, it expects objects with coordinates so we'll provide the source object uh, the source function first with an object and let's give it some coordinates we'll say x10 and y10 and another object here so x let's say 300 and y 300 so this is the ending point of our path and this is the start point so let's uh, save save this and refresh and you can see that we have our um, this nice curved line and the starting point would be the one up here which is um, 10 pixels uh, to the right and 10 pixels down the document and ends right here at 300 uh, through 300 so that's how you create this um, this nice looking curved path in D3 using the diagonal path generator and as we'll see in the next video this data right here will be provided um, for us by the tree layout that we'll look at in the next video so we don't ha actually have to have to write this out ourselves so yeah I'll see you in the next video